Yo, what's going on, sexy similar to squad? It's everybody's favorite day. Try hard Thursday. What's up, sex boys? I'm gonna start it off with my favorite Sorka Yormi, and it's gonna be a Sorka Yormi mirror match. Oh my god. We're gonna start this try hard Thursday off with a freaking bang, dude. It's spoofy. It's my boy spoofy. <laughs> Hey, Spoofy, my boy. If you don't know Spoofy, I was playing, um, I played probably like, oh, dude, I don't, I want to say like eight hours with him yesterday on my Shiva 12 hour stream on my Shiva grind. I, so, I shit you not. I played like 12 hours with, or I played like eight hours with Spoofy. He's great. How are you, man? I'm doing try hard Thursday. All right, let's see. Shiv is editing the the vod from yesterday, the Shiva vod, and she she just said, "Oh, he's playing Kumba right now." He said, "I'm good, my dude." Heart. Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, good sir. Well, good sir. I'm determined to beat you. You're gonna need to be, my guy. You're gonna need to be. Alright. Use your ability as on me, that's fine. I'm okay with it. You don't scare me. You don't scare me. I got a minion. I got a minion wave. What do you have? You got nothing. You got nothing. You win Boomba's hammer? Okay, so you will win at level 20. That scares me. Oh, but you're not going to make it there, are you? Are you? There we go. Massive kills, baby. Massive kill. He did drop the red buff. I don't know if he picked it up. No, he definitely did pick it up because it's not on the map. And now I'm going to get his blue buff. If he comes over here, I'm going to ult him. He has Aegis. I think he wants to hit level 5 and ult me. Okay, he just hit level 5. I'm scared. What happens if we ult each other? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I think whoever all second always wins the fight. I'm not going to tell him that until after the game. <laughs> because it's try our Thursday. Oh, excuse me. All right. All right. Nice. Rune forged all the way purchased already. He's going crusher first, but he he doesn't know the power of uh he doesn't know the power of the bluestone rune forged combo. It's too good. It's what I've been uh It's what I've been doing, man. It's why I love Sukayumi so much. Sorry, Sorka Yormi, my bad. The combo with it. Oh, I missed. Oh. oh, I was going to say I'm surprised he didn't Aegis, but he did. He couldn't Aegis because he Aegis that blue buff when I got first blood on him. No wonder. No wonder. And my damage is so good, man. It's so good. Um, I think I'm going to go into Breastplate now. Get some cooldown. Because I have a bit of a lead, and I'm not in danger of dying mostly. So I'm going to grab some cooldown, and I'm chilling. The red buff would take a turn, unfortunately, for me. But I don't know. I should be okay. Missed the one. I hit the one. Hit the auto. Hit the three. Oh, 
He was a second early. Dude, my damage. My damage. I'm telling you, Spoofy, my guy. Boomba's hammer is enticing. I get it. Trust me, I get it. You're like, I get to level 20, I win this game for free. And it, you do, honestly, you do. However, Blue Stone Rune Forge combo is the best build for a Tsukuyomi, I feel like. It's so good. You are so strong at every point in the game. Ooh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Nowhere to be found. He backed. He backed. Okay. Oh, fortunate. I really thought he was going to be there. He just ran the other way. All right. You know what? Honestly, that's fair. That's fair. I tried to push my advantage a little bit too hard, and now I'm, now I'm down an ult. I didn't die or anything crazy, so it's not a big deal, but... He went for the same play I did. Unfortunately, we both suck at this game, so... <laughs> you know, whatever. He's already got max cooldown. Oh man, I am just throwing numbies at you, my guy. I'm throwing numbies. You cannot compete with this damage. It's too good. It's far too good. And instead of going into an Aegis, which would be good for his ult, I'll admit. I'm going to go into a thorn so that when he, or when I guess we inevitably ult each other at some point in this game, um, I'll be doing more damage. I actually hit him, which I was surprised about. Oh, I thought that he would be a little bit closer there. I missed. Hmm. Darn. Um, I think I might have to go do Bull Demon, honestly. Ooh. Darn. Uh, all right. Well, I'm kind of shit out of luck at the moment. Please hurry, minions. All right, tower down. He's got his uh, max cooldown up now, which is slightly scary. But I will say this. I'm getting Boomba's hammer. Oh, my God. He got out of the Nemean. Never mind, that's unexpected. I could have sworn to Jeez Louise he would have gotten breastplate. What? Guess it's a good thing I didn't because my guy's nuts. I did the Nemean, huh? I could see it being good. I definitely could. My only actually, you know what I want to do? I want to go Soul Eater. My only issue I think with that is. A lot of my damage comes from abilities. Like, yes, the auto attacks weaved in and out are good. And it does stop me from going Hydras. But it's not too insane, you know what I mean? And I do gotta go get, uh... I do gotta go get my... Soul Eater so I can start stacking that bad bitch. He's probably going to go 
Beat Stick if I had to guess here? Because he already has Jotuns. So Beat Stick is his next item. What is he doing after Beat Stick? Oh my god, he's going Runeforged? That's a really late Runeforged. There we go. Good fight. Good fight. He does have cooldown over me, like I said, but I mean, uh, Soul Leader gives me 10% uh, pen and some decent lifesteal. I'm definitely not getting Phoenix here, but I'll do some decent damage. Ouch. Mm. Blue's not up. So we both have really good clear, as expected. You don't pick Tsukuyumi and assume to have bad clear that day. You know what I mean? So. Oop. Good kill. I'm just going to walk back this way. I am very tanky right now, so. This will probably be the Phoenix. Oh, he does have ult. I am so deceived. Oh, do I live this? Wow, I actually live this. I have to give him red, but being alive there? Holy shit. That's insane. Wait, I can kill him. Wait, he gave me red buff too. Let's actually go. And I want to go. I am going to need a beat stick of my own this game because that, uh, what is that item called? That Boomba's hammer. When it comes online, if it comes online, it's going to have a lot of healing and I'm going to have to stop that. Let's see what we can do here. I like my build much better than his. Mine has pen, defense, and sustain. Not too much cooldown, but everything else I need. And then I could throw like a Jotun's just in there to have the cooldown I want. I am I am liking the build so far. Ooh. All right, fair, fair, fair. All back up. I also heal the full pretty much off every wave. You gotta be careful about. I'm gonna go life seal off this blue buff. Fine, it's not there. Oh, I missed. You're nuts. Actually nuts. Oh, but I am doing a lot of damage to that Titan. Oh, I missed. Nice. And now we heal massive numbies. And we win the game. GG, dude. That was a really fun first game. G, my guy.
It was a really fun first game. I do like my build more. I think blue bluestone into runeforged or you know blue blue forged, if you will, uh, is really really strong on Sukiyumi or just any god that has a bunch of CP. So it's probably what he should start in the future. And I he watches my videos, so I'm sure he'll see this. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in game number two. Don't stop watching. What's up, boys? Game number two of Try Hard Fry Hard. I have a gold border Kronos. I don't remember losing all that much. But god damn, do I have a gold border Kronos? That's just unfortunate, honestly. Um, <clears throat> I am also fighting a Hebo. I'm just going to do what I know, I think. And I'm going to go double defense. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go Ring of Hecate into probably Shoguns. Into Toxic Blade, Telkines. Maybe not Toxic Blade. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'll be doing something. How I know my Gotta figure it out. A secret. Gonna be doing my blue. Or doing my blue. Go. Um, you don't live this, do you? Dark forces prepare me forward. Hmm. What a weird play. What a weird play. You got my blue and died for it immediately. There's no way that's worth it, right? Hey, there's just no way that's ever worth for him. What a weird play, man. I red buff now, so you definitely do not win any fights. And now... I'm going to use my med. Put a blue buff. And now you're dead. Again. Couldn't be better, man. Couldn't be better. Amazing start. Two kills, two buffs. A nice, nice game so far. I think Kibo is slightly overrated. Um, I think with all the items and all the changes. He got a little bit power creeped by auto attack mages or just other gods in general. So... While, yes, you can still pick him and do probably pretty well. I don't think you're ever winning the game versus an experienced player on a on an S tier god still. Well, I don't know. I mean, if he gets Boomba's Hammer, I could see it. I could still see me getting shit on, but... Pretty rare. I almost died to do that. <clears throat> okay. Whatever. You have med? No. Playing very weird. Is what it is, I guess. Grab this and this. Head out. He is going to want to do my blue buff again. I'm sure of it. But him not having any way to get out of my three is very telling. Oh. All right. Well, he met it and ran. So he did live. But uh, that's more so for my error. It's not because he met it. I missed my one because I, I figured he would try to juke, not just run straight. I figured he would try to juke into um his minions. Dark 
forces propel me forward. Okay. Get his alt, I guess. There we go. Perfect. And he's gonna back. I'm just gonna do this again. Now he might have his Chronos pendant online, but even still, I'm not really too scared. Do not scare me. The damage is almost irrelevant. I have so much life steal. My one item. Okay, he's backing. I'm level 11. He's level 8. He has the Chronos Pendant. I could go more damage right now. To try to push my lead and take towers faster. But I actually think going Shoguns would be even better. Because it gives me the attack speed I would like against towers. While still giving me a little bit of survivability against him. Eldritch secrets reveal themselves to me. He is trying his best. Probably going to alt me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But on the map. Oh. <clears throat> Appa's toy got thrown. Shift through Appa's toy and it landed on top of the yoga mat. Now Appa is just staring at the yoga mat growling up here. Oh, you can see him right there. He was by the yoga mat growling. Doing tricks now. Little boy doing tricks. It's really hard for him to compete against me right now, I think. Even like, even after his kill, I just think I'm so far, not even ahead, but like in my build. I guess he's about to get his Genjis online, but feeling pretty good. Vault me again? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is meditation. I'm gonna use my two in the healing form. I know I didn't pick that up. I gotta go back for it. I do want to get the blue buff. I am gonna go back. I don't think he saw me run over here. Oh, he did. Alright, we will take this wave. And I think... Doing Bull Demon is going to be a bit hard. Just because <clears throat> I don't do a whole lot of burst damage. I do most of my damage via consistency. Oh, what's up? Most of my damage is through consistent damage. Okay. I am chilling still. That was alt for alt. I want to just get a full on Telkines. Might be able to kill here. 
massive. That's actually a massive kill because it does give me enough gold to get my full Telkines. And I could decide to go Rod instead for the more objective damage base. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go um, Berserker. I, dude, I, I keep calling Frenzy Berserker. I don't know why. But I'm going to keep... I'm going to go uh, Frenzy for some extra damage on the Bull Demon here. I don't think I can actually... Oh, never mind. Holy mother of God. My damage is really good. I didn't think that I was going to be able to do that that quick. I genuinely believed I was going to have to hold off. Okay. You do not scare me yet. Once he gets his Divine online, it'll be a little bit terrifying, but... As of right now, I am vibing. That's a good stun. Ooh, alts away. Well, him alting away actually gives me completely free control over this Phoenix right here. I really do not mind him hitting me or my minion wave because his damage is kind of irrelevant his build isn't doing too much for him oh he beads okay Oh, he lived. Shout out meditation. Clutch. Very clutch med. Man, I just do so much damage. I just do so much damage. Now, he does have alt. He could kill me here. So I'm, I'll, I'll do the respectful thing and I'll run away for now. But he's actually still chasing. Dark forces propel me I don't think he should do. Alright. Turns out my damage is just enough when I pop. And uh, that's going to be game. GG, 12 minutes in, 4 and 1, make him surrender. Again, I think Hebo is not very good anymore. Like you can like I said, you can still win a game with him, but it's much more so like it's way harder to win a game with Hebo than it was back in season you know, 3 like they do know is that guy's toxic and I'm glad we beat him. Nice. Um I guess we'll just go on to game three. No more comments right now. Welcome back to game number three, boys. The uh, the guy who I said was toxic that, you know, Rexy has beef with, and he uh, is not a very nice person to me either. Uh, he reported me after I beat him, so that's Pog. That's Pog. Love that. I don't know. I don't even know how to say his name. But um, we're going to keep it going with the... Book of Thoth Hades against Agni. It does scare me, I'll admit. It does scare me because Agni... Okay, let me put it this way. When we're both level 20, I think Agni wins. And pushing into an Agni is very difficult as Hades. Well, as anyone, really. Because Agni clears the wave so well, and he's got five ways to do it. Three fucking bombs, a two, and a three. So, it's really hard to end a game fast against Agni. And, uh... <clears throat> if we're both level 20, I don't feel like I win that. But, hopefully I'm wrong. You suck. Ouch. Okay, whatever. You get both of those. I don't care. This is mine. Oh, 
Am I scared of you? Can't tell. Hmm. I want to fight him, but also... Oh, unlucky. Almost. Almost got the kill. Yeah, you don't scare me at all right now. I have Boomba's Hammer. You have a little bit of damage, but not enough to scare me. I will detonate at about 300 damage. Again. Again, again, again. We'll be doing the same thing to my blue. I would love to actually, like, well, I don't know. I, I think he's going to go Boomba's Hammer. I was going to say, I would love to get to late game, like both of us, because it seems like it would be a lot of fun, even though I think I'm at the disadvantage late game. But I don't even know if he is going Boomba's. Normally, people who don't start any uh, starter item at all are going into Boomba's, so I would assume he is, but... I don't want to. I don't want to assume it and then just be completely wrong. Oh, so close! So close! All right, let's kill all these minions. I got my one. Shouldn't be too bad. I still have red buff on, so clear's not awful. The reason I stayed to clear that wave is because I wanted the gold so that I could get um finish Book of Thoth on this back. I do I still have to wait here for hundred gold, but that's fine. It's better than not getting a book of thoth, you know. Starting the stacking immediately is pretty important. And there's nothing up on the map right now anyways. He already got the XP camps and all the buffs are down. He backed. He got Book of... Th or He backed. He got Bancroft's. I got Book of Thoth. I think Bancroft's is a bigger power spike initially than Book of Thoth. But... I still am comfortable. Still in comfortable fighting. Because of my initial healing. Oh my god. You are dead AF. Was close. Was close, I'll admit. He thought that the dash would kill me, but... With, uh... With my shell's help... And my ult for the extra protections... We end up winning. The fight. Not the game, but the fight. He should only have one or two charges of ult. So I should be, like, relatively safe at the moment. Oh, am I dead? Mm. He did have two charges of the alt, but god damn, those things hit harder than I thought they would. Uh, pestilence. I I could go defensive here. I think I will go defensive. Probably one of each pot as well while I'm out. He gets his blue buff off that. All right, I'm gonna need a beads for sure, for sure. It's gonna be a tough game. He is GM in Conquest, too, so he's not a bad player. Are we having fun yet? Mm. Alright. Yeah, I'm just... I take a lot of damage from him, but... I'm also, like, kind of okay with it. Dash that way. Oh, wow. Insane med. Kept him at 1 HP through 3 different autos. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. Holy shit. His med actually kept him alive. Through my autos.
Don't tell me you have enough force to blow that up before I get there. Holy shit, you do. Your middle tower is under attack. Wow. Okay, I am really, really losing now. My god. Alright, I guess I can't fight him anymore. Bancroft is way too good of an item. Unfortunate, but whatever, I guess. There's nothing I can do about it. I already fucked up. The best I can do is try to... Try to save the game, which I'm going to have to do by getting Bulwark. And, uh, Divine, for sure. Damn, there's just nothing I can do here. I just have to wait. I really want to back because I do not win any fight right now. But I can't. I just do fucking nothing to him right now. My goodness. Oh. I missed that, huh? Alright, I'll take the red buff. I'll ult this. Mm. Dude, I cannot keep up with him. This is annoying. I really want this blue buff too. Don't know if I can have it. Can't have it. Okay. All right, that's fine. He's probably gonna stop my back with his one or something, or an auto, whatever. Doesn't matter either way. Not much happening here. I'm pretty safe. He could dash through tower and try to kill me, but I don't know why he would. My tankiness helps enough for this. It did not. Oh, he actually ran. Thank God he ran. He definitely would have won that fight. I'm very glad he ran. The fight was 100% his. Because I actually do not think my three would have killed. I don't think I have enough power for my three to kill there. I think I am going to go... Uh, no, I'm going to go Bulwark. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Bulwark. And then I'll go Divine. And I actually got both full items just now. And I will go Thorns as well because he doesn't have beads yet. And uh, he actually doesn't have beads in general. So if he ever dashes on me, I just Thorns and... Uh, and ult. Gosh. Jesus Christ. Dropping everything on me. My fucking God, dude. Purple bomb, two dash. Ridiculous. Get away from me. Does he win this fight? I don't think he does actually. Smack your 
Oh man, he did. He did. How much damage did that? His fucking dash did 600 damage to me. But his autos are doing a lot too, man. Huh. I need more power is my problem. I only have 300. I mean, he doesn't have very much either, but... Like I said, at level 20, I'm pretty sure I just lose this game by default. Agni with Boomba's hammer is pretty unstoppable. Does this Fuck me, man. This is going to be really tough to win. I'm, I fell behind. I fell really far behind and now I need to do some miraculous shit to catch up. And I don't know what that is yet. That passive hurts, man. Perfect. Alright. We did get the kill there. It's actually not as perfect as I originally thought because he pushed my minion wave in. Got a ton of damage on my tower for free. While I was, well, I, it wasn't for free. I did kill him, but... I killed him and I got both of his relics. I don't need to focus on tower push too much, thankfully, because Boombas and Polynomicon are going to give me incredible tower push. But <coughs> I actually want to go rod and I want to go the attack speed rod. I don't have too much pen. Well, I don't really have any pen, but we'll see. Use max cooldown. I want to go chronos pen in actually. Oh, yeah. You rock the greatest. How did that hit me? There's no way that fucking hit me. Ow, man. Ow. Oh, what? I had him in that and he just ran out of it? He just walked out of it? I literally had the guy, man. That's ridiculous. Oh, man. I can't believe that. That's so insane to me. I think I have to go Chrono Spend it instead of uh, Rod. My tower falls and he does bold in here. And he gets level 20, which means he gets Boomba's Hammer. Holy, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. That's it. There's no way I come back from this. A level 20 Agni is too strong. I messed up, dude. I messed up my early game. Fear. I messed up my early game. I let it get too out of hand. Doesn't have Boomba's hammer yet, but he will. He's got cooldown pulses. Mm. 
Let's go, dude. Please tell me I live. Let's go. Massive. Actually massive. I get my Boomba's hammer finished. Uh, Thorns did 300 damage. God damn, his dash did 1,000 damage to me. Ridiculous. Going Rod right now, and then he is going to go Boomba's hammer for his last item. All right, at least I get red buff off that kill. Hopefully. I don't have my alt yet, which scares me. Oh my god, my Boomba's hammer shit on him. My Boomba's actually shit on him. I'm so lucky he doesn't have Boomba's yet, man. I need my Kronos pendant really bad. All right. There it is, baby. There it is. Phoenix is down. Do you have your Boomba's hammer yet? Does this robe make me look powerful? Uh. No, he went Rod. He definitely should not have done that. He 100% should have gone Boomba's hammer first. I think his greed to get Boomba's hammer as like a surprise item might be the only thing keeping me in this game right now. Because I should have lost already. 100% I should have lost already. Oh my god. I'm so lucky. I... Uh, I... Should have lost that game so many times. The fact that I held off on, on going Kronos just to go Boomba's Hammer and hit the fact that he didn't wait for Boomba's Hammer and instead he finished Rod before going Boomba's. Those two things combined with me the game because I was, I was behind on damage. I was losing every single fight and it wasn't close, by the way. I was getting dumpstered for most of that game. I'm very lucky. And I know it. You know, I'll, I'll admit. His misplay is what won me the game. Not my good play. His misplay. Whew, that was fucking close. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to game four. <laughs> Let's go to game four and... um. Hope to God I don't fight that guy again. Because I don't think he'll make the same mistake twice. Alright, boys. What's up? This should be the last game of uh of try hard thursday assuming it's a good one we'll see i picked poseidon because i was a little bit tired of going for like the freyas and the souls and the olerons but uh but it bit me in the ass immediately because i'm fighting a uh an on her and if you don't know on her is a hard counter to poseidon and why you may ask well because if i alt then he alts and one of us dies and it's almost never him because uh, <clears throat> he can control his ult. If he alts my ult, 95% of the time I'd say he can run out of the center of my ult, which is the main point of the damage, while still damaging me. So that's why he's a hard counter. Not to mention, you know, Poseidon loves trading and on her loves trading and on her is just a bit better at it because he's a hunter and his items are a little bit better. As you can see by this, like, he knows he wins the fight, so he's just going to W key me and hold his, his left click because he knows I lose hard. Thankfully, he actually toed the wave instead of me, which gives me freedom to clear. He definitely should not have done that, but I'll take it. Um, 
I just want the minis here. Gonna jump on me probably. I mean, he definitely has jump. He has red buff too. I can't kill him here. I would die taking that fight. Um. Damn, I really want to try to punish him for something, but it's I just can't. I just cannot. Mm. All right, whatever. I have to give him control over these buffs. This sucks. This matchup sucks. I hate it. This is one of my least favorite matchups in the entire game. It's actually the reason I stopped playing Poseidon so much. Because on her is such a good pick and everyone I fight plays on her. So I figured, you know, if I don't have enough bans to ban on her and I know he's a hard counter to Poseidon, I probably should just not play Poseidon. Could have stuck with my gut, huh? But <laughs> it is the same guy as last game. And I'm hoping that greed takes over again somehow. I don't know if there's anything he can actually greed. But I'm hoping he messes up some way. And I take the dub home. But we'll see. Oh, man. Well, that pretty much guarantees me me dead, I think. Can you reach this? Hmm. It was a bit of a mind fuck between the two of us. But I made it out. Uh, neither of us have a finished item yet, but I don't have an alt and he does. Oh, I will say... He is being greedy with that alt. And then all of a sudden not greedy at all because he ulted the wave. Oh, he wants to get here before red spawns again. That's why. Okay. Understood. So I had to stop his back there. Perfect. I didn't need to hit the center of the alt there. All I needed to do was make sure the alt hit at all. And that was golden. Perfect. Uh, I would go for the blue buff if I was a little bit more confident. However, I'm not. So, I'm just going to go for the chrono spending into breastplate combo. And my cooldown's online. A Saparino. He has transcendence now, so his damage is going to be much higher than, not, than mine. So, well, I don't know, actually. I do have red buff. I th well, I think while I have red buff, we're even. But, uh, when my red buff falls off, I'm dead. And if he stuns me to a wall, I'm dead. Is he still... Ooh. Please don't stun me to a wall. Oh, God. Oh, thank God that didn't stun me. Holy shit, I would have been dead as fuck. With my two up, I'm not scared of him. Oh, no. Geld? He wants me? Dead to archers, dead to archers, dead to archers. No. Let's go, dude. Another moment of all I need to do is let my Kraken hit him. And he surrenders at five in a matchup that he wins. He's just demoralized. He's demoralized from, I guess, last game or, or this matchup. I don't know. He just didn't like it or something, but it's super in honor's favor. 
But I don't know. We took the dub. It is going to mean that we get one more game in, though. So maybe you guys should thank Yarmad. Maybe you should thank him. He's a good player, though. He's just too greedy with things, I think. And I don't, I don't even need to cut this section out because that key was so fast. But I think the reason he loses is just because he's too greedy. Like, new patch is awesome. Love playing at 1% volume. Well, that's weird. Um, but yeah, I think he's just holding stuff in too much. Oh, I guess we got priority queued, so I will cut this part out. I'll see you guys in the final game of the video. Yo, what's up, boys? The last game of Try Hard Thursday. I decided to play Vulcan, a little bit of a mage. I love playing mages, and I haven't played Vulcan in a little bit. I feel like he's, he's fun to play. Why not whip him out a little bit? We're fighting a Kronos. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. It's okay. Um, Tainted Steel might be good against him, actually. But I think I'm going to go Conduit Gem. I, I know it's weird. I know it's weird. And l l hear me out. The reason I think Conduit Gem might be the play here is because, one, I need the help clearing because I'm going to go the Chronos Pendant... Uh, Genji's build. I know I've been rushing Chrono Spending on Mages, but I just think rushing cooldown on Mages I've been playing is really, really important. But, um... You protect my secret sauce recipe. With your lives have spawned. The extra damage is important from the Conduit Gym, and... I'm gonna need it because... Russian Chrono Spending doesn't give me a whole lot of... Power. <clears throat> Doing Gilded Arrow. His autos are going to hurt. Not as good of clear as me, though. He's focusing more on autos. Okay. Oh, he's going to hurt me. Oh, really good damage on my part there, though. And he has beads, but I have med. So in terms of a fight, I'm feeling my uh, my setup much better than his right now. I should be able to confirm this. Nice. Might be able to get a kill here, too. Who knows? Oh. Oh, it didn't target him. That was so close. That was so close. You're dead. Got him. Insane ult. I'm cracked out of my mind. Please kill the big one. Go. Stop trying to touch me. All right, meditation, meditation. You can kill here. Hit the one. Oh no, he was just too fast. Wait, I can still kill. Damn. Too much healing. Whatever, that's okay. Gonna grab one of each pot and head out. That's fine. We got one kill and we got his blue as well. I don't think he's gonna be able to do my blue. Should not be able to. If he does, then uh, I never said that. I warded it just in case. I was a little scared. But he's not doing it. We're chilling. Hopefully he doesn't come over here and do some hooligan shit and one hit my buff. He didn't. I'm thankful. Appreciate you. My damage feels nice, man. I am feeling nice. I'm going to go Chrono Spendant. Alright. I got cooldown. I got 170 power with red buff. And red buff just went away. Unfortunate. I have 130 power with no red buff. 
Rude. How dare you? Get his ult, maybe? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yo, my ults are on point this game. What the fuck? They're exactly... They're like... Picture perfect. He tried to squeeze between my ult and the wall, but it was such a good ult that he couldn't do it. Okay, I suck. Hold on. Wait. I'm getting shit on. I'm dead. Wait, hold on. Wait. He's ulting. He's ulting. He's dead. I'm nuts. I hit everything. I normally don't hit everything when I play Vulcan, but right now... Right now I'm on. This guy's surrendering. There's no chance. There's no chance he plays past five minutes right now. We're four minutes in. Uh, he does have Ring of Hecate online. Oh. Okay. Let's go, dude. He wasn't expecting it. He wasn't expecting it. Even I, I wasn't really expecting it either, to be fair. I was like, ah, should I do this? Kind of dumb. It's pretty stupid. You might die. You might give a Kronos a lead back into the game. Thankfully, I hit everything. So it worked out. Let's go back. And I'm not going back. I went back. Okay, whatever. I'll just sit in my base for Genji's then. Because that's going to be a good item for me. I hope that he picked up the red buff and didn't just leave it there and then die and now has it. That would suck. <coughs> yeah, he's going Shoguns. Which is a great play on, on his part. It's what I would do in his, in his uh, shoes. I should probably put some points in my two. Just to make it a little stronger. Help zone him out a little bit. Throw a little buff or two eventually. As is right now, all it's doing is getting one. Not too helpful. I'm doing a lot of damage though. My goodness. Okay. Mm. Great damage. Fuck. I really want to see if I can kill him there, but that's all right. That's all right, I guess. Don't know what I want to get right now, so I'm just going to go divine. Also don't know what don't know what relic I want. Probably going to be beads cuz nobody likes being stunned against the chronos, but I don't know yet. Oh, fuck you. On oh, my blue buff. He bought wards too. What the fuck? Who does that? Oh, I missed. Missed again. Please reds up. Why is Appa crying? Oh, his blue buff's up too. Don't hear him doing it. I don't care too much about you hurting me. You don't scare me all that much. Oh, he got his beads and his alt already. 
in the one fight. Oh man, I am feeling real good right now. Mm. I don't have to really do too much there, but... It's fine. We got the blue buff. I wonder if he's afraid of losing his fight. I don't think he is. He should be, though. I don't think you win this fight. Huh. Interesting. Oh, they actually got me with that. I'm surprised my ult didn't kill. I would have expected it to. Oh no, it was so close, dude. All right, we take tower though. Okay, that was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Jesus Christ. I want to get that, and then I will also go into a Spear of the Magus, because I think that will be really nice. I'm I'm torn between Spear of the Magus and, uh, and Polynomicon, but I think Spear of the Magus is probably better. Just because it has more power and it has base pen. Although Poly would hit hard. I wonder if I should go actually into a... Pestilence. Get up double defense because he is going into more lifesteal here. I don't know. Alright, I figured he would go for that play, so I figured fuck it. I'll go for it too. Just do the other way. And. I'll actually get buffs off it. Go this way? I have no idea where I went. I guess I should pick up this blue though. Considering the fact that I have blue on. Oh yeah, he's going into Typhons. Or maybe Bancrofts. I would imagine it's Typhons, because Typhons seems better since he already has some lifesteal built, but... Might be Bancrofts. Either way, I think Pestilence would do good here. You don't do too much damage to me, thankfully. I can do Bull Demon really fast. Because Vulcan. Mm. The Phoenix hurts, huh? Not enough to kill, man. Close. Close, but just not enough. That minion was annoying. Uh, I think I'm just going to go rod here. Like, I don't really give a shit about the meteor rod. But I also don't give a shit about the attack speed rod. The only one that might do anything is the meteor rod. So I guess I will be doing that. Even though it doesn't feel too great to buy. Hello? 
Okay. He sprinted. tower again probably oh so close i hit the 3-1 combo but it wasn't enough to kill i think we'll see if that hits him maybe it didn't that's okay this is too bold demon he's probably too scared to come over here right now I do a really good amount of damage, man. My turret is very, very good for these scenarios. I'm a little scared. I would love him not getting red buff, but I don't think I can stop that. Definitely cannot stop that. I need to pressure it because I have Bull Demon right now. Mm. Just kind of juking me out. Dude, when one ability hits though, it hurts. It hurts him for real. For real, for real. My god, look at that. I don't really care uh, about killing him because I need to get this Phoenix down. And as long as I don't leave the area, I still have the option to get the Phoenix down. I'm also very close to being murdered though. Keep that in mind. Oh, no way, dude. Okay. Holy crap, what a dance. What a dance. Um, I'm not going to get an upgraded rod yet because with the extra 600 gold, I actually have just enough to upgrade my starter item. It's really, really nice. <coughs> and I will actually take the cooldown here instead of the red. Gamma focus doesn't give cooldown, right? No, it doesn't. Mm. Mm. Oh, I should have thrown that a bit further. Alright, do some nice damage to that Titan. Oh my god. I didn't just do nice damage to that Titan. I shit on that Titan. My turret did half the Titan's health. My turret did 3,040 damage to that son of a bitch. My god. That's incredible. That's insane. And that's also the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Again, we went from um, Masters to GM. Pretty much what happens every week. The difference in player damage is astronomical. Holy shit. I feel like I played that game really well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.